other version 1.5 and dog bite games off the road there's a new feature of the game i'd like to detail it in this video it's upranking your vehicle here i've got the talkie i'm going to uprank it from level three to level four and the task to complete is help stock ai 50 times this task comes up with other vehicles the number of times to help an ai vehicle may vary so how about we head to a landmass this is Snowfields Landmass. This is where you start every time you go to Snowfields Landmass. I'm going to take Tookie up to a helicopter and show you the part of the landmass that has the best geographical features for upsetting AI vehicles so that you can rescue them as quickly or find at least enough to rescue quickly as possible so you can use this with any vehicle that has the same task requirement i'm going to get in the helicopter here just for a second so i can do a little tour of what makes this section so great for upsetting AI vehicles. There's a couple of plateaus here. One you can see with the green top over there. The snow we just drove up onto here. And it has fairly steep cliffs going up to it. It's also somewhat short, unlike the cliffs, say, of Red Canyon. So you could actually go over them with many of the vehicles that may require this task. The other thing is, there is no mud about in this part of the landmass to slow things down. And a great feature of this section of the landmass is we've got a river here. It does wonders for trapping AI vehicles, whether it's to drown them, or it's just because of the somewhat steep bank to turn them over. And it's not so steep as, say, on the shore landmass, which you cannot, or is extremely difficult, to pull vehicles out of. There's also a basin here, which vehicle, AI vehicles, which don't have much in the way of intelligence, will drive into, and they'll drown. There's another water basin up this end. They'll do, they can do the same thing in. So how about we head back to Torquay and we'll call on some AI vehicles. You do have to call on AI vehicles every time you start the game. It's not an automatic feature of the game. You do not get AI vehicles. So we go to the symbol with the people symbol right next to the shopping cart with the red one on it. Tap that and here's our AI players. We can select which AI players we'd like. We can select any of the vehicles that are available in the game except for the tractors. It's best not to select the large vehicles because you're going to be using a small vehicle to try to relate them. And if you've been playing the game, you probably know some of the starter vehicles tend to roll on their side and stay that way. So I'm going to select the carry as an AI, the Ranger. The buggy would be a good one. The Karma's not, because it's usually a little bit too big for most of your cars to roll back onto its wheels. The Stinger is good. And the Defender. So I've just selected four of five vehicles that I think are pretty good to use as AI vehicles that tend to roll onto their side. So let's go back into the game. I don't have the map set. Why? Well, because if you look on the map here, you can see there are some other vehicles. Terry just drove in front of us there. The other four vehicles will show up. They'll tend to hang out close to your vehicle. I'm not going to use that. 
And if I stay up on the plateau here, just for now, someone will drive over the plateau and be able to use their rocket pack. Sounds like one of them's already up on its side. Yeah, we've got a help symbol. So you just notice it was off to the right side of the screen. You keep just rotating around to the right, or to the left, I should say. You rotate around to the left. And when you point directly at the vehicle. It will be straight ahead of you. We drowned one in one of the late water basins. So we'll just hook to it, onto it and try to drag it out. Let's take a look back. He's not on his wheels. So we're going to just haul him around a bunch. I find if you haul him around in the snow, I don't hear a bunch of bang because I'm going to this. So I'm going to hook them before he takes us into the water. He can do that if we don't unwinch from him. And he can put us into the water and drown us. Particularly smaller vehicles. We've got another help symbol straight ahead there. It looks to be on the other side of this plateau somewhere. So let's go up over the plateau. We're pointing straight at it. Looks like we're going down to the river. I don't know where our AI vehicle is that needs to be rescued. But we'll just keep pointing towards it. There he is over by the gold mine. And he's completely upside down. These are the most difficult ones to write. We'll just hook onto a door there somewhere. He'll slide around his roof if we keep him on the snow. I'm gonna to try to take him out to where some roads are. The roads tend to have a little bit of friction to them. We lucked out, we rolled onto his wheels. We've got a rescue. It's one of the 50 we needed to do. They add up after a little while. And all I do is patrol around this area. And wait for a symbol to show up saying AI needs help. More than likely to show way off to the right or the left of the screen. And a symbol. And if I, there's one. Oh, so way off to the right. It's back to where we just came from. It may actually even be in the river. There's two of them. No, nope, there's one. Not in the river. Oh good, this is an easy rescue. We go to the underside of him, hook to the upper side of him, and just give a little tug. It should write. Well, that didn't work out too well. Let's try bumping him. No. Okay, let's unhook from him and try that hooking another line. I said that was an easy one. And just back up, and he's on his wheels. So I'm looking from him before he falls this away. Look at that, right back into the water again. Always ropes just above the water. Thought he might drown himself and need another rescue. But there are symbols showing up, and either when you're pointing towards them or ahead of you or way off to the side of the screen, you don't need to use the map to find out where an AI vehicle is that could be in distress. Another thing you can do is you can actually try to turn them over if you'd like and then rescue them. It doesn't usually work out too well. 
At least I haven't found it works out too well. Yeah. What do you know? I figured he wasn't going to do too well doing that maneuver. Did another one drop in on us? Rescue for that. It wasn't pretty. Oh, might feel like payback for all the times an AI vehicles bumped into you if you've been playing the game long enough. When AI vehicles used to be standard on the land masses. symbol way up the top of the plateau it looks like. Rescues you need real quick, or 30, or however many it is. Somebody in the river or further, further back. Oh, perhaps in the river. Off to the left side of the screen. Yep, definitely in the river. Look at line. It's a bit tricky. There we go, we got a reward, he must be on his wheels, he's on his wheels. So there's the basics of doing AI rescues, and what I think is some of the best cars to rescue, and the best land features to use to work to head for, have the AI roll over. I find the task usually takes somewhere around an hour, maybe a little bit more to complete this ranking up of the vehicle. Don't know why that guy needs help. Doesn't look like he's drowning. That his roof looked like it was above the water line. I'm going to call out a video. And if you need to use that task for upgrading your vehicle, I hope it helps you out.